Warning, 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 warning. It must be noted, all of the views expressed in any of the videos here are my own as commentary, opinion, and criticism. Hello. First, let me say, anybody who knows me knows that I hate being in front of the camera. But with the Southwest Museum battle, I feel I must speak out. My name is Michael Posser. Following the success of the widely popular video put out by the Friends of the Southwest Museum Coalition, an open letter to Charles Lummis, I've decided to do a series of videos discussing and documenting the ongoing struggles to save the Los Angeles' first museum, the Southwest Museum, from being plundered by the Autry National Center. These videos will be brief and fun to watch, I hope, I'm going to try. They will detail how this important museum has arrived at these dire consequences. It's important to document who is responsible for the cultural rape and pillaging of Los Angeles' first museum. These videos will serve two purposes. The first is to get the word out about the Southwest Museum when there is still time to act. Now is the time to act. Many people still have not heard of the museum's plight because the greater Los Angeles media machines, with the exception of a few local newspapers and blogs, has virtually ignored this issue. I get it, it's not a very sexy topic and it's certainly difficult to explain, but it is so very important for this community. So the community fights on. And the second reason for these videos is to expose who is responsible this museum can't go quietly into the night. If we do lose this museum, if the collection is sequestered away from the public's eye, if the historic landmark building that is the Southwest Museum is sold off to a developer, then someone has to document this cultural disaster. Because when children, 10, 15, 20, 75, 100 years from now ask what happened to our first museum. They deserve to know who did it. Number one, local politicians like Mayor Antonio Villaraigosa and council members Jose Huizar willing to roll over and not protect the community even after they made promises publicly that they would not let this happen. Number two, the Autry National Center with council member Tom LaBange and their expensive lawyers, lobbyists, and PR flags. The Autry came into our community, never intending to listen to or work with us. They came for the collection and damn the historic museum building and damn the community. That's been their attitude all along. We have the audio to prove it. There will be a video. Three, the Los Angeles Conservancy, the city's largest, but not the best, historic preservation group led by their master and overseer, Linda Dishman. They have seen fit to side with the Autry and throw the community to the wolves. What? Oh no, you didn't. <laughs> the LA Conservancy was once an active and proud organization, but now they are aged, ineffective, and bought out by various politicians and developers, developers like the Autry National Center. And number four, finally, there are turncoats in our community. I need to repeat that. There are turncoats in this great community. Carol Hawkes and Elliot Secular, leading a few angry elites, have been working secretly with the Autry to undermine the larger community. A video to introduce you to these cultural traitors is in the works. I hope you tune in to some future videos. We're going to try and have some fun. But please, please get involved. Please help stop this unnecessary loss. Help save the Southwest Museum. Thanks. And now, your moment of fun. What is it? It's Autry's man making another raid. 